What's your greatest asset? Hi, I'm Dr. Zeno with 5 Minute Fuel, which is in 5 minutes a day. We're going to feed your mind, your body, and your future. What is your greatest asset? If you've been looking at the previous fuels, if not, stop and go back and look at those. We got to the conclusion that nothing compares to our health being our greatest asset. We can't, have, we can't get the time we need and the quality of time we need. We can't make the money we want to make. We can't have the life we want to have if we don't have our health. But now the question you should ask yourself, what is health? If you're telling me your health is your greatest asset, tell me what health is. You see, when I was younger, I found this out the hardest way possible. In fact, this was the question that stumped me, but it was also the question that gave me freedom to have the life of my dreams and help thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people per year through this teaching. I was raised to believe, like many people, health is how you look, it's how you feel. Uh, it's you're happy, you're spiritually fit, you exercise, you eat right. See, I, I believe that health is those things and how you look to feel. And so if I look good, which I did, I won Mr. America. I was healthy. If I felt good, sure, I was healthy. But if we just base our health on how we look or how we feel, then you're going to miss the top two disease killers that have already affected possibly your life, but definitely the loved ones and friends around you. For instance, do you know someone who has been affected by heart disease, including blood pressure, cholesterol, throwing diabetes? Yes, right? Do you know someone that you know, maybe personally or someone close to you, that has been affected by cancer? Sure you do. Everybody raises their hands. Why? Because five out of six Americans are either getting heart disease or cancer if they live in our country. And not, I'm not speaking this over you, but we have to be really, really mature on the real statistic that cancer and heart disease, five to six people in America, if you do what everybody else has been doing or taught, you will be part of the five to six. Now, if you're watching this right there, you want to be the one out of six that don't have the heart disease and cancer. And the only reason why heart disease and cancer kills so many people and five to six people are getting it is because those disease killers, you don't feel until it's too late. For instance, heart disease, what's usually your first symptom of heart disease 80% of the time? Heart attack or stroke, boom, gone. How about cancer? Can you be walking around with cancer and not feel it? Yes. For instance, for an example, my dad had a 10 pound malignant tumor and he felt that he strained his abdominal wall. And then when they went to get a check, they're like, you got a 10 pound tumor. He was dead in five months. So if five to six people are dying from heart disease and cancer and things that we, that we uh, don't feel, and many people are believing that health is how you look or how you feel, then the question is, are, people, are more people dying of things that they feel or don't feel? People are dying of things that they don't feel. So right now, to set you free, if health was just how you looked, how you felt, if we're believing that, we're on a road to the statistical death stats. Health is not how you look or how you feel. In fact, the definition of health by the World Health Organization is health is the optimal functioning, keyword, function of your body mentally, physically, socially, and spiritually. And it's not merely the absence of a sickness or disease. So health had nothing to do with how we ever looked or felt. Health has everything to do with how you are functioning, that every organ and every cell and every tissue of your body is functioning as close to 100% as possible, exactly the way it was intended to. When my heart's functioning at 100%, it's not gonna get cancer or, or heart disease. If my immune system's functioning at 100% doing its job, I'm not gonna be developing cancer cells. So when you go out today and when you, when you spend through your time today, ask yourself this, health is not how I look, how I feel, it's how I function. What can I do today to allow my body to function the way it was created to so I can live the life and have my greatest asset, which is my health. 
Have an amazing day. Thanks for watching 5 Minute Fuel, which is in five minutes a day will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. And we'll see you soon.